in the year of 2000X, a super robot named Mega Man was created. Dr. Light created Mega Man to stop the evil desires of Dr. Wily. However, after his defeat, Dr. Wily created eight of his own robot masters to counter Mega Man. And this is the story of Mega Boy trying to overcome those eight robots and counter them himself in the beloved title Mega Man 2 for the NES. Yes. Uh, hey everybody, welcome to my Let's Play of Mega Man 2. Probably the most beloved game in the entire series. Many love this as the best game in the series, and I'd be inclined to agree. It's a really good game. Um... Yeah, so now, as you can see, different from the first game, we have actually eight Robot Masters instead of the six that were in the original. Um, just like the first game, you can pick anyone you want. Uh, I'm going to start off with Airman here, just because... I don't know. I just wanted to. So yeah, there's actually... Um... This is actually the sequel to the first game that came out, obviously. It's, I mean, it's Mega Man 2, it's sequel to Mega Man. But, this was not developed, like, in a traditional way. Um, so, Mega Man, whenever it came out here in the United States, end, did not end up selling well. I don't even know if it sold well in Japan. I, I don't think it did, but maybe it did. It sold better. Um, so... The developers didn't really want to have anything to do with the Blue Bomber anymore after the first game came out and didn't really do well. So um, they went up to create more projects, but they allowed the original developer team to develop this game on their free time while they worked on other projects. And out came Mega Man 2, yeah. So Capcom didn't really expect to make anything from this because they were just working on the free time of the developers of the original game. And they, the game came out and it went on to sell really well, so it went on to make a successful series after that. So yeah, the first Mega Man game didn't really do all too well. I don't know if it was because of the um, poor box art in the US version, or just the more inaccessible difficulty compared to other NES games at the time. But yeah, um, this game really had a lot going for it back in the day, and it actually s was the game that uh, shot Mega Man into the mainstream. Oh shoot, that would have been bad. Yeah, those knockback things can kill you. Uh, shoot. Oh, you can see there's a lot of drops. I actually picked normal mode just because... I mean, I could do difficult mode, but at the same time, I kind of just want to have fun with this, so I just went with normal mode. Um, the difference between normal and difficult mode is that difficult mode, enemies take more hits, um, item drops are less common, item drops, item drops are less common, I think that's what it, yeah, whatever, yeah, item drops are less common, and, um, That's pretty much it, yeah, just the enemies take more hits and item drops are less common. You don't really take more damage or anything either, so... Yeah. But they're pretty much the same mode, it's just, I like to have a little bit more fun, so I chose... Oh yeah, and uh, weapons waste more energy than they do in the normal mode. And I haven't even been talking about the stage yet, at all, actually, now that I think about it. We kind of just walked over to Airman. Um, what he's gonna do is just, sh just shoot these, like, little tornado things. You wanna just walk towards him and jump. Yeah, you wanna avoid the tornadoes coming at you. And unlike the first game where you just picked up something that, after you killed the Robot Master, this game actually gives you a proper weapon getting screen. And we got the air shooter. 
And message from Dr. Light. Now this is a new mechanic. After defeating certain robot masters, I believe in this game it's going to be Crash Man, Air Man, and Heat Man. We get different items. This is item 2, which is basically a rocket that allows you to skip over sections of platforming. It's pretty useful, actually. So that's kind of the main reason I wanted to get through Air Man stage first, even though a lot of people like to go Metal Man first. Speaking of Metal Man... Also, yes, the music is awesome in this game. I love the songs in this game. It's so great. Um, there's a new mechanic here in Mega Man 2 that wasn't in the first game. is those E-Tanks right there. Um, anytime you're low on health, you can grab one of those E-Tanks, press start here, and then it will heal you back up to full health. Um, you can only hold four at a time, and if you ever get a game over, you lose all of them. So you want to avoid getting game overs as much as possible, which is really easy to do because now... Um, lives are more common in this game than they were in the first game. But yeah, a lot of people say that Mega Man 2 was one of the most influential games of its time. Um, and I could definitely see that. It definitely was influential, at least to the Mega Man series itself, just because of how much... How much it, um... Made mainstream things that would be used pretty much until the classic series um, Mega Man 11 came out. Uh, this series stayed with eight robot masters instead of the six that were in the original. Um, the Wily stages, like how they were, even though they were kind of, oh shoot, <laughs> I kind of messed that up. That's not what I wanted to do, but hey, I got an extra life drop there, so it's fine. Yeah, I still have three. Um, yeah, but what I was saying is, um, the Wily stages turn more into like a four area gauntlet, like how they were in the first game, but it's structured differently in this game, and you'll see what I mean later on in the Wily stages. And the boss, the boss rush, how it was in Mega Man 1 is where you fought them, like, periodically throughout the Wily stages, but in this game, and with every game moving forward, it's a proper room with eight portals that will take you to the eight different robot masters to fight them. So yeah, this game did change a lot for the series. Whether it was for the better or for the worse, I mean, I guess it's a matter of preference. I personally prefer how the boss refights were handled in Mega Man 1, but pretty much virtually anything else, yeah, this, re this uh, sequel does a lot better than the first game. Also, yeah, the sprites change slightly as well. The health canisters and weapon energy look completely different, and that also is going to be maintained throughout the rest of the series. Another thing that was uh, introduced in Mega Man 2 were the items. How, unlike, unlike later games, though, it's not Rush the dog. It's just the item 1, 2, and 3, but they do pretty much the same thing. They were introduced in this game here as not really a weapon per se, but a tool used for traversal, especially for getting extra secrets like extra lives and E-Tanks. Right, those enemies right there are just going to roll down. You want you don't really want to shoot the enemy itself, you more so just want to shoot the, the, the gear that they're placed on. And since we used up weapon, or item 2, I kind of want to refill that energy right there. And this game incentivizes you to use your weapons a lot more, since there's a lot more energy drops than there were in the first game. They're a lot more common. Even in um, difficult mode, they're uh, more common than they were in the first game. So there's a lot more incentive to actually use your arsenal of weapons on not just the bosses, but like the actual normal levels too. And you'll see with the next weapon we're getting here, that's going to become really apparent that they want you to use the other weapons. <laughs> Alright, these enemies, if you're on their level, they start speeding up and trying to hit you. But if you jump off, like, not level yourself with them, then they'll slow back down to their normal crawl speed. And here we have Metal Man. Metal Man is really easy. All you want to do is stay to the left of the screen and then just jump every so often whenever he throws his metal blades at you. Um, he takes a, a decent amount of damage from the Mega Buster. 
And he's going to change the direction of the conveyor belt. Um, so whenever he does, you just want to adjust properly. Just stay to the left if it's going to the left, or if it's going to the right, just start holding to the left and then tr just turning around to shoot at him. He's not really that difficult. And I don't really want to make these episodes just like the first game longer than like 10 minutes, so I think I'm going to end this off here. Next time on Mega Man 2, we're going to continue on with the Metal Blade. Possibly the most overpowered weapon in the entire series. Yep, see you guys next time.